Hi everyone! Today I wanted to share with you some information about an upcoming challenge at Diamond Dice and it's a Diamond Dice Jar Challenge and it will be Mother's Day related and um, I'm going to show you some of the items that I will be using to alter my jar for this challenge and the challenge starts at Sunday the 27th of April and I will have all the information uh, in the description box below the link to the Diamond Dice shop and the Facebook page and the YouTube channel uh, and uh, please remember that if you place an order at Diamond Dice you can use the code Thanks Leonie to get 10% off and free shipping on orders of $35 or more and it's US and international so I think it's a wonderful deal especially for the international customers because shipping can be really pricey so um, I will share some of the items that I'm going to use and I didn't have a jar in my stash so I went to a local store and purchased one this morning and uh, the jar should be at least four inches tall so uh, I purchased one and this is six inches tall and I think it will be wonderful to alter it will be my first altered jar I um, altered a bottle before but never a jar so I cannot wait to get started and alter this one for Mother's Day um, we don't have any mason jars or ball jars here in the Netherlands so as I was really happy to find this one and of course I'm going to use uh, some of the wonderful dice from Diamond Dice and we're supposed to use at least uh, three different dice but I picked quite a few more uh, so um, I think I will be making some more of these uh, felt flowers to go on my project and I used the realistic rose die set to create these so this is definitely a set, a set that I'm going to use and I'm also going to use the monarch butterfly die set the small one and it's wonderful to, to create uh, double layered butterflies with so uh, the next die that I'm going to use is this nature's flourish die because I want to go with a nature uh, themed altered jar so this will be perfect to use as well and I'm also going to use the mini must-haves uh, die set and I think I will be creating some more flowers with this uh, rose, the realistic rose and it's this set right here and I think this bird is super cute as well so maybe I will use him as well <laughs> and I'm also going to uh, create some felt flowers with this beautiful die set and uh, I haven't played with it yet so I cannot wait to get started and I'm also going to use this die set it's the fancy flowers one and I think these flowers will be perfect to use as fillers because they are a little bit smaller than the realistic roses so I will be using this one as well and because I want uh, to go for a nature theme I'm also going to use some of this jute twine and I'm also going to use some of this burlap and this was gifted to me by Karen who is JB Lady Scrapper 48 and she's also a design team member for Diamond Dyes. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm finally going to use it on my project. So these are some of the items that I'm going to use for my uh, uh, Diamond Dyes jar challenge. And uh, I hope you will stay tuned and to see what all the DT members can come up with and how their altered jars turn out. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.